Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chris and welcome to my channel. Uh, we're starting a new game today. I know that there's a couple other games in progress. That's fine. Um, this is Prey. It's pretty new. It came out last Friday, I believe. Uh, and by last Friday, I mean a couple days ago. Um, it is a kind of reboot of an older game. Um, the, the first Prey was an ID game, the people that made Doom and um, you know, Wolfenstein and all that good stuff, I believe. Don't get me wrong there, because uh, I could be, but I'm pretty, eh, you know what, it might not even have been uh, made by them, but it was built on the same engine that like Doom and Quake 4 and all those games uh, were built on, and it was kind of pretty much exactly like those. Um, I have no idea if this new Prey game has anything to do with that one. I'm pretty sure it doesn't because you played as like a Native American dude and I don't know shit got weird and shit looks like it's gonna get weird in this one but I'm pretty sure they like scrapped the original Prey and the plans to do a sequel to that and we're just like hey let's just go back to this uh, this kind of world and just make a whole new story from scratch. So uh, that's basically what this is. It's done by Arcane Studios, the guys that did Dishonored. So I'm really hopeful for it. It looks really cool. And uh, I mean, I kind of enjoyed the first one. I know that there wasn't a lot of people that were crazy about it, but I thought it was really cool. And I understand this is going to be totally different, but um, nevertheless, it looks pretty darn interesting. All right, so I'm a guy, so I'm going to go with a male. I guess that was it. You just pick male or female. Uh, you wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. Not too far off. Something tells me um, it's not going to be like this in 2032. All right, so this is our apartment, I guess. So excited. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Good morning. Monday, March 15th, 2032. Yeah. Got some tunes to wake me up. Oh, silenced. Wow, okay. Thank you for pre ordering. Your pre order items can be found in the special container in Morgan's office. Okay. Uh, cell phone call. Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna take this burnt circuit board though. Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Alright, so what is this hand prompt? Alright. I can take this. I can take what the hell is this thing? Well, I hope that wasn't important because I just threw it on the ground. Uh, okay, so I can pick it up, can chuck things, that's nice. Uh, taking a lot of junk, I'm guessing there's maybe like a crafting system. Uh, oh, okay, well, my bad. I thought I was typing for a minute. Not the case. Congrats and welcome uh, from Thomas Tucker. Uh, hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you, f you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and we'll see you again, or we'll see you soon. Thanks, Thomas. Uh, delivery. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Okay. Uh, hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York, company stuff, but they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravita gravitational pull at the same time. She said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, uh, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon from Alex, my sister, I guess. Um, 
All right, uh, except from the preface to hands-on electronics, by working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you'll be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. All righty. So, this is a door for sure. Closet. Fuck you, clothes. Wow, that's pretty fancy. All right, well, not a whole lot to do with the closet. I need to adjust my sensitivity. Oh, oh, gosh. That was a very dramatic suit. Put on animation thing. Okay. Uh, it's a little early for that. Check it out. Very nice. Look at that rice cooker. I'm assuming that's what that is. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Uh, transglutaminase, a naturally occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein-containing foods together and in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls. Known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Cool. Couldn't you just leave the skin on the salmon? Just a thought. Carry. I need a leverage skill of three. But I can search it and take some stuff. So I like this. This is, uh... This is giving me a, uh... Holy shit, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so apparently we have a quick wheel of some kind. That was mouse uh, wheel button. So uh, there's a, it looks like there's going to be some crafting, uh, a lot of looting, which is good. It's not just a straight run and gun, you know, uh, corridor shooter. I like it. I can turn on sinks even better. Um, and I'm also probably going to be doing some... Uh, Oh, look at this space age controller check it out uh, probably gonna be doing a little bit longer episodes because I believe this game is you know decently lengthy uh, I'm not sure exactly how long but it's probably closer to the 20 to 30 hour length so we may have a lot of episodes of this oh sick fish tank they have fish in the future Yes. Oh, my God. I did not mean to do that. I just wanted to... Morning, Mr. Yu. Press shift. Hi. How are you? What are you doing? Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Oh. Must be for you. Did you know? Can't go rooting around in all these people's apartments. Probably a good thing. Um... Let's go to the roof. Uh, use space to jump. C to what? Crouch. I might want to bind that to control. Okay. Nope. Roof access. Check you out. Very cool. It's a helicopter. Luxury. Only the best for me. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Hmm. Transtar facility is just a short hop. Oh hey, so check it out! Skies all the way. This is a credit uh roll kind of thing. Can I switch seats? <clears throat> Alright, well I guess they want us to look out uh just the right side mostly. Maybe. I don't know. Digging this, the jams. Pretty badass. Nice oh, yeah. Yes, it is a nice view of the bay. Wow. This is a big city. I'm 
I'm so excited to go to space and have bad, terrible things happen to me. I'm certain that's what's going to happen. Pray. I want to work in a building called Pray. I feel like I need to bump the, uh, sorry to kill the mood, guys. I need to bump the music volume just down a hair. As much as I love the tunes, I don't want it drowning out the people talking, you know? Hey. Science operator. I'm a civil 495 science class operator. You're a bowling ball. That's what you are. Bowling ball with a thing on top. Okay, well, what else can you do for it me? It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Okay. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Yeah, confirm. I keep wanting to click, but you actually have to hit F. <laughs> All right, maybe I want the music a little bit, a little bit higher. I just want to, you know, 72. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Oh, check this guy out. Finally. Mm. Iced coffee. It's so good. I gotta keep, keep my uh, play sessions fueled. You know, dude, you were large. Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. Thanks. How's your eye? Neither do you. Still red. I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Oh, King convention is in our blood. <laughs> so, uh, you start the test? <clears throat> when I said that was my natural. sister, uh, I was wrong. No, no, Apparently, it was this guy who's definitely my brother. Through the he's not a woman. I don't know why I thought it was a girl. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Okay, Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. Okay, bye. Dr. Yu. Ah, the method. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? Wow. I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind. But it withers in the face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself? Maybe. Me? No. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Cool. I guess. Ooh, check this out. What kind of tests are we going to do here? Are you guys paying attention? Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. Thanks. All good? Great. <clears throat> Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. I really want to click. That's uh, you're absolutely <laughs> fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. Yeah, you like that box throwing shit? That skills, man. What's what's in the chair? This robot's okay, following me. Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. Oh shit! No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Uh, I fucked the chair up. Can I... Can I write the chair? Oh, God damn it, dude. Well, <laughs> we're not gonna be doing much well, hiding! Ready, what if I... How do I get the goddamn chair to... Fuck. The red button starts... I know the... that! Can I not rotate? <laughs> Okay, well. 
He says, can I crouch? Can I lay down? You'll never see me now. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> any synaptic register at all? No? no? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. What, you didn't like my Please. chair hiding? Could have hidden here. Through the see-through wall. Alright. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can. Okay. In the most natural, intuitive way possible. Without thinking. Just just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Huh. <sighs> I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's <laughs> happening? What? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. Uh, I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. What'd Not you put in my head, doctor? Fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Hmm. They're not pleased, I can tell. Uh, what was I supposed to do there? Need you to move. Oh, okay. Sitting Can someone down. Someone get me a cup of coffee. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. I did. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Okay. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Uh, you're planning a new vacation. Go f somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. Uh, new. I mean, I'm going to fucking Good. space, Looks right? Like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Uh, afraid? Ooh, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track uh switch tracks good next runaway train is bearing down on five people you're standing on the platform next to enormously fat man uh pushing him into the track would stop the train mm. uh i'm not going to kill someone to save done. others well that came out wrong the fat man didn't do anything wrong he didn't deserve it uh runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track you could stop the train by jumping onto the track but you would die martyr wow i'm impressed well done well <laughs> i like how push the fat man was still an option for this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you mm. to take a good look at it. Ooh. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, is my coffee? It's empty. Holy shit! The fuck just happened? I got gassed, and that guy died! Did his coffee cup just turn into an alien? Fuck. I'm pretty sure that's not right. Simmons, what's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? I'd say. He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Big brother, what are you not telling me Good here? Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th. 2032 Wait a sec. Uh hmm, Was that a dream? 
an incredibly vivid dream. Danger, leave now. From January. Danger, leave now. Leave now, leave now. Okay, well, um, something is totally not right, but let's take this shit anyways. In case there's something I can do with it later. Hey, this room wasn't open before, was it? Yes, it was. I'm just d dumb. Take. Alright, let's get our suit. Get the hell out of here. I don't like the foreboding uh, emails. I also don't like what I just saw. Oh, Jesus Christ. Flashlight. Shit. Oh! Look at your face! Oh, I just wanted to zoom in. That's not a thing. Holy crap. Patricia Varma? Patricia looks like a man now. Oh, classic wrench. Come and call. Okay. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. Wasn't that a hallway last time that I could go to the left around? Alright. This door was jammed, so we're gonna break the fu- Oh, hey now! What the fuck? I'm not on a skyscraper at all! God. All right. Oh, so they've been watching me. Uh, sleeping. Wakes up. Turns off alarm. Checks transcribe on computer. Various tasks. Takes shower. Puts on uniform. I didn't take a shower though. Oh, I guess that was from last month. Uh, if you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in an extra effort to hit our milestones. Any internal risk are fully taken into account where these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a was a direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Jesus. Uh, how do I scroll down? Whoops, not like that. Uh, Dr. Bellamy, at this point Morgan's exhaustion is in in inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting on the constant neuro neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing differently. Okay. I know this morning's incident has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Uh, Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience. All right, so Alex is definitely like in the know of kind of what's fucking going on here. I'm clearly not. So, immediately suspicious of Big Bro. That's for damn sure. Alright, so. It also sounds like the doctor that was attacked by the coffee cup alien is not dead. Perhaps? Simulation labs, replacement props, storage area. I don't know what, uh, what the benefit of all these, uh, drinks and stuff are, so I'm not sure that I need to go around taking them. Also, don't know if I have, uh, you know, a finite amount of storage. Simulation soundstage. Alright, so my whole fucking apartment is just a mm, big soundstage. Excuse me? Come again? What was that? Do not open door while simulation is in progress. That box moved. Is it gonna turn into an alien and fucking kill me? Wait. Wait a second. Wait a fucking second. Oh, okay. So it's there's slidey walls, there's slidey door walls. That's why I was so confused. Holy cripes! That was my closet. Oh no, my closet was here. Soundstage rules absolute. What? Uh, 
The wrench is a standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in transfer facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Uh, swing, uh, press and hold to charge for maximum damage. All right. Will drain stamina. Noted. All right, so this is a circle. I just came back out to where I was. Absolute silence and simulations in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. Okay. So the repair lady was just an actor. Actress. Observation, simulation, debriefing. I'm just trying to take my time. Explore everything. I want to go back here, but I actually no. I don't want to get attacked by box alien. Hmm. Oh, cool. Looking glass simulation labs scene editor. Nice. All right, can exit down here. What? This entire building is just a fake thing. What is this? Malfunction. Malfunction. Oh, that's where I came in. Right, alright, so I came in from here and it was like, hello, I'm a bowling ball robot. And then I got in the elevator. And then uh, I ended up over here. And then this is the testing room is where I went in. Gotcha! Alright, real quick. Real quick, let's double back. See if we're missing anything. I can't go back there. There was a place that I could go over here, though. Through here. The devil. What is this? Some crazy... Oh, there's a safe with a keypad. Oh... That's not it. I need a thing to tell me. Oh, wait. Right. Password. I cop 0876. Give me the safe code. Uh, reminder about company password policy. Oh, come on. Nothing for this guy? Oh, the safe code is... Oh, God. That... No, that doesn't fucking make any sense. It's not the same thing as... No, okay. Well, I guess we're not getting into that, because I have no idea what that said. Moving along! I can't understand you. You sound like a robot. This is not functional, is it? It's all a big simulation. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go in here. Med kit. Quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assign weapons and powers from your inventory or favorites wheel by selecting the item or skill, then pressing a number key to assign. Press T to view more. T does nothing. All right, so. Shit. What, what did I just do? I don't want to use that. Come on, bro. T. Oh. Oh, hi. Inventory. All right, objectives. Break out. Get to the main lobby. Stranger named January contacted me to say that I'm in danger and that I need to escape my apartment. No shit. My apartment isn't what I thought it was. It was actually a soundstage. Inventory. All right, so I've got a bunch of shit, a bunch of uh, garbage, and more shit. Uh, sparkling wine. Uh, I've got my wrench. I've got my med kit. I, I don't suppose there's any need to equip that. I don't even know if I can equip that. Uh, data. These are just notes and stuff. Uh, emails, audio logs. Don't have any research. Okay, cool. 
All right, sweet. Jesus Christ. Goodness. Alright, so that thing can turn into items. And I really hope that it does not break out of the glass. So that's what attacked the doctor that was a coffee cup. And maybe that was what was in that fucking box behind me. Oh god, what was that? I'm just going to be... What's going on? What's happening here? Alright. I'm assuming you can't get out. Uh... Alex has requested all orders to go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief, pending a psych evaluation. Alex has indicated he doesn't want any surprises from Morgan, nor do we... Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start with charting personality drift before future tests and debriefings. All right, so there's definitely some weird stuff going on with me and this place and all kinds of other shit. Oh, God. You're not a robot, are you? Transcribed. Okay, I remember hearing that. Why oh, fall through there? Oh God! I don't. I don't want to do that. All right. Uh, decontamination. Oh God. Dude, it like sucks the life out of him. And it multiplies. They look like the head crabs kind of. Able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Okay, well before we go that way, uh where the mimics are, let's go back here. Let's see what other crap we can find. Jesus! Oh my god! I killed it! I killed one! Mimic tumor. I need to research necropsy. Necropsy. Before I can uh, do anything with that. <laughs> okay, I don't need to do that. It's just weird. It's just weird. Don't do that. All right. Feeling a little more brave now. I had my first encounter, and I won with my wrench. Zombie man. All right, you've got some cheese dip, it looks like, and uh, spare parts. Oh, random, random dim sum. Okay. Check out this sweet plant thing. Uh, all right. Well, where are we now? This is a very nice wooden area. Some cool drawings. Search. Nothing there. Next week's test. We need the new. We need the room updated to the new test plan. Spooky action. Okay, I don't know what what that's all about. We'll find out. God, play your way. Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card or finding an alternate path. As you learn new abilities, more options will become available to you. Very cool. Very uh, much like Deus Ex and Dishonored. 
I like it, I like it, I like it. It's my kind of game. I hear a ticking noise. Does that mean there's an alien nearby? It's in the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's the nutshell version. Gaining a new skill from a neuromod mod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So, if I want to strip the neuromod that makes you play piano like Gustav Leitner, it'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They wanted more... Morgan's mind for Steen to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way the hell back. Hence the apartment sim. User dedicated to their science. That's all I can say. Hit me up for lunch later. Simmons. I don't like this ticking noise. Alright, so there's a key card somewhere where I can go. It showed like a, like a vent shaft or something. It became a chair! Fuck you! I took the Typhon organ. Oh! Uh oh. Take your organs again. Dick. They're everywhere. I got the key card! Here are the results from today's personality test. I've seen some drift over the last few trials. Uh, that's just the test that I took. Have my people been coming to you? I've noticed the same thing. I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's much worse front with the psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kels... Kelstrip about mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned that these are not isolated incidents. So much stuff to read. Okay. All right. Well, if I could go without getting attacked by any more chairs. Oh God. Jesus Christ. What did it become? Where did it go? I will fight everything. I will fucking fight everything. That just became something. Oh! Oh God! Who are you? Who the? Who? Type an anthropentasmus. Keep moving. Phantom. All right. So what? What the hell does a phantom do? I've got uh. I've got shape-shifting living objects trying to kill me, and now a phantom. Uh, tutorial. I would like one. Many objects can be repaired if you have the repair skill and enough parts to repair an object. Hold down the G button. Oh, well, that was simple. But of course, I don't have the skill. But maybe that's what all the junk I'm collecting is for. Mm, skill recorder analysis. Can't do anything there. Look at all these footsteps. That must be what would need to be repaired. It's broken. Uh, stupid. I will beat you. What the hell? The glue cannon. Sick. What's the glue cannon do? The glue cannon, Transtar glue cannon, jellyfoam lattice organism obstructor, fancy, disables and or immobilizes targets without harming them. Glue can extinguish flames and temporarily stop electric arcs. When hardened, glue can also be used as a climbable platform. Okay, fire glue cannon, hold mouse one to fire continuous stream. So this is like our uh, kind of multi-purpose tool for manipulating the world and pretty much I'm feeling like 
This isn't gonna kill them. I have no idea what the code is for this, right? Uh, did I pick up anything that would tell me what this is? Cheese dip, I mean dim sum, apples, spare parts, bullets, med kits, blah. That's not the password I need. Keys. Uh, don't see anything for this, um door key pad. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll get get to it later. Uh, I do know that I saw a flock of these damn... Morgan, there, in the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Normally it's a fake, but I swapped in a real one for you. Nice. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take a look. Punk. Let me check this room out first. Then I'll get get you your neuromod thing. Thirsty. Mmm, so much better. Alright. You're quite dead. Hold it out to listen. My bad. Or something. Right, Robert? <laughs> They're everywhere! <laughs> oh my god. I need health. How do I acquire this? Give me that shit. Neuromods and abilities. Neuromod is a revolutionary transfer invention that allows you to learn new skills and abilities. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate to the Neuromod section. Okay. Well, did it for me. Scientist. Okay. I can take the path of the scientist if I want. Use knowledge of science, medicine, and specialized lab equipment to your advantage. Very nice. So the first skill is physician. Uh, your knowledge of medical practice increases the effectiveness of med kits to 150%. Pretty sweet. Um, which reminds me, I have med kits. That's how I heal. Uh, hacking. Bypass level one security measures on computers and robotic systems. Probably helpful. If I went the engineer route, I specialize in modifying gear, repairing, and crushing your problems with a wrench. Leverage. Lift heavy objects. Uh, repair, fix broken shit, basically. So just kind of just look real quick. Uh, just, I can get real strong. I can upgrade weapons and stuff real nice. I can repair everything. Um, extra inventory, extra chip sets. Okay. Break down things for parts, increase recycling yield, uh, use of weapon upgrade kits to upgrade non-standard tech weapons, okie doke, and security, boost your physical abilities, skill with firearms, security tactics, firearms, uh, just get good with guns and stuff, conditioning, increase your health to 115 and stamina to 105, run, sneak, climb, sprint faster. Increase your health a lot. Increase your stamina a lot. Make you really fast. Uh, combat focus. Get better at doing that. Stealth. Be better at stealth stuff. Sneak attack. Do 200% damage to enemies while they are unaware of you. Mad nice. Mmm. Decisions. Decisions. Fuck. 
Fuck it, dude. We're gonna go. We're gonna be a real soldier here. Okay. Or are we? Yeah. We're gonna be a soldier, boy. I'm gonna run and jump and sneak and. Oh, God! Ah, why? Why do you have to do it that way? It's awful. I would not do that. I'm sure there are many Transtar personnel who wish they had stronger, faster bodies at the moment. Now, let's get you to the main Damn straight. Lobby. Seriously, though, I did want to go in that room. Hey. Favorites wheel. Favorites wheel allows you to quickly select and use weapons and eventually psi powers. Press the mouse wheel to open the favorites wheel and select a weapon or item using the mouse wheel. Press mouse one to equip a weapon. Okay. Can also consume stuff like I'm about to do. Wait, no, I'm not. I just healed magically. I don't know how that happened. Can't go in there. Are you an alien? Nope. I did want to go in here. Did someone leave like a sticky note on the wall and I can see it somehow? Is there a way to sneak in here? Can I like crawl underneath here? And break that shit? Maybe I can. There's a secret way in from. I bet if I lift, moved that or lifted that or somehow I could, you know, get back behind it. Maybe not. Wishful thinking. It's probably a notepad somewhere. It's got to pass around, but I don't care. I gotta take a leak though. Whoa! Hey! Whoa, he's up top! You're a jerk. Question is if I don't have the skill to research these little fuckers, do I even need. Do I even need to carry their. their parts around? Is that even a thing that I need to do? Look at this toilet. It's like steampunk toilet. Nice. Is this here? Oh god. What does this shit do? Let's just see. Uh, contain exotic material which is used to fabricate neuromods. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's Still good to collect those. Because I want my narrow mods. <laughs> Alright, we're going in here. Yeah, I'm sure. So is this like a hub game? Like, can I travel between hubs? Mmm. Yeah, mysterious contract. One more. One more. Okay. Neuromod. Oh. You made it. Jesus. Ready for your first real view of the world? Uh, God, I am in space. I've been in space all along. I knew it. HR is very blocked. God. Super cool. Welcome to the lobby. Oh god, that's not good. Not good at all. Fuck yeah, dude, dude. Talos 1 is open for you to explore. From the lobby, you can reach other parts of the space station via the bulkhead doors and lifts. You may return to the lobby and other areas you've discovered as often as something. But that's basically what I was kind of getting at and hoping for. Uh, it is a hub type thingy. No match key card. All right, we'll come back to you. All right, my office is upstairs. God, there's so much shit to look at. Oh, 
What's down there? I don't know. Welcome to the Trans Star exhibit. I'm just looking for like pickups and stuff around here. Got your neuromod. So can I? Okay, so I can. Oh, oh, okay. I don't have to pick just one path. Nice. These are just the fields in which I can upgrade stuff from. Man, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want some hacking shit, so. Let's do that. I'm a hacker. I'm a physical man. Oh, Jesus! I'm not equipped to this. To deal with this. Is he coming for me? Fuck you, dude. God, he just bolted. What is he, wizard? I'm gonna glue gun ya. Can I kill anything with this stupid piece of shit? Oh, -ho! glued! <gasps> oh god, I should have stopped and used the med kit. Should have, should have stopped and used a med kit. It's fine. Load the last save. Load her up. Stop it. Okay. I like this combo though. Well, check this out. I call this the the glue the glue smash. Haha, <laughs> you stupid asshole. Oh god, he's not dead. Oh my god, my arms are so fucking weak. Jesus, dude. That is like... The most inefficient way... Of fighting... Uh... That thing. God, I need a fucking gun. So did that not save my didn't save my hack, did it? No. Alright. Oh man. Geopolitical developments oh, result in a temporary hope nineteen sixty four. After the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's department okay, I see. to twenty twenty five. Very neat. Sorry. I'll have to read you some other time. An explosive canister. Okay, cool. Um, priority one. I need a fucking handgun or something. Because I'm in the shit. Jesus. These things are so fast. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you tired? Tired of swinging your freaking wrench? There's no time to be tired. We're gonna die. Oh god. Sorry, I got scared. I'm not gonna heal just yet. Whoa, fuck! Okay. Alright. Upstairs, clearly where my office is. But, uh. Whoa, dick. God. Get me out. Alright, I'm gonna heal a little bit. There we go. Alright, so healing's pretty quick. I don't like you. Uh, okay. I guess I'm safe. Take that shit. Pick it up! Pick it up, pick it up, pick 
Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. Oh, I broke it. What? It was a robot. I mean, an alien. Oh. Surprise attacked it. That was like the worst possible way to do that. Honestly. Alright, well this door is all kinds of fucked. I guess I can also go up the stairs to go to my office. Man, this is a big place. This is going to take me a while to figure out. Please don't assault me. Be nice. Let's get some more of these flowers. To do something with. I don't know what it is that we do with them, but we'll do something with them. Any hidden robots? Stupid robot. I mean, alien. Robot alien. I hope I have a gun in my office. Alright, well, we're not going in here. Security. HR. Leverage seems like it may be an increasingly more important skill. <sighs> You're broken. Sales division. Alright, well none of this stuff's accessible. I have to go up the elevator, it seems. Getting a lay of the land, it's fine. Shuttle bay. Fuck yeah, dude. Damn turret? What's the point in hacking it if uh, if it's not killing me? You know? It's obviously going to kill the aliens. Which is what I want, but... Oh, yeah, don't forget that banana peel. Uh, Security. Maybe there's a... Nope. That's locked. Damn! Everything's locked. All right, let's go upstairs. It's my office, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Hey, what were you? All right, see you later. Oh, you're back, huh? You've returned for more. I'll get you later. Guts. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I'm gonna glue you. Teleconferencing center's locked. Don't fuck with me, man. Alright, we're gonna clear this one by one. I'm gonna eat that apple sometime later when I'm hungry. Shit, check this out. Trauma center. Access card. Acquired. Okay. Bianca Goodwin has emails. I'm gonna need more support. The volunteers are agitated more than usual. This morning, Eleven threatened to bash my head in if I didn't let him out uh, to stretch his legs. When you get up there, the key code is 5962. Not the old number on file. I'm pretty sure they've been watching me punch that in, so I changed it. What room are she talking all right, well, I have the notes saved. Anyways, uh, Dr. Igwe, Igwe, I relayed your previous request, and we'll see what we can do, but there are no guarantees. The schedule for the visit is tight. May not allow face-to-face. -face. I'll let you know when I have more deets. Yeah, Igwe showed up quiet and polite. He shook Leitner's hands like he was afraid of breaking him. Asked him to sign an album he brought. Leitner seemed flattered, so that was a plus. We tried to make him comfortable. His condition hasn't stopped him from craving a cigarette. Fingers were twitching. It's too bad. Such talent. No wonder he wanted to get scanned. None of this makes any sense to me. Which is fine. I don't expect it to make much. As of right now. Alright, there's a turret there. Hopefully that will... Uh, 
Hopefully that will keep me safe. Relatively. Please move these remaining boxes to our new office in Neuromod Division as soon as feasible. Whoa, hey. Test subject. Uh, I'm trusting you with my brain. You do good work, so hopefully that continues. Listen, if the tests don't go well, something happens, let Alex know that it wasn't his fault. I signed up for this. This is from me, by the way. Also, if the tests drag on, consider moving your office down to Sim. Less hassle, and you can always move me back after we celebrate our success. All right, so I've been here for a while, uh, but you know they rebooted my memory to like an earlier save state or whatever that they were talking about with the neuromods. Um, not sure exactly how far or whatever they sent my memory back, but far enough to not remember what the fuck was going on. All right, that turret just took some shots at something. Uh, Jason Chang locked. No password found. Oh my god, hot boss. Okay. Hang on. The code to your office is 0451. Thanks, buddy. I gotta read this dude's email first. Uh, Jason, maintenance screwed up the keypad to my office. Had them set it to 0451. I'll be in a Sims lab. I'll be in a Sim lab a while. So if you need anything, help yourself. Okay, so I knew I was going into that simulation of my apartment. Okay. Love it. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three. Three years, huh? Jesus. The video should be on your workstation. How many aliens are inside my fucking lab? I mean office. The recycler. Garbage. 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 Garbage, 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 garbage. I have a sweet. Yes. Hmm. I don't know what this thing does. The fabricator. Ooh, I can create stuff. Very cool. More crap, more crap, more crap. Three neuromods. Excellent. Teleconferencing is now open. Now let's watch a video. Good morning, Morgan. I just got the plan you requested. It's in your safe. Okay. So I have a fabrication plan in my safe. Utilities. Watch me, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. This LGB file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. <laughs> okay, I'm alone. Uh, email three. You made it! Great job. Still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't still be civil. You passed me in the hall today, and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me, and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. Do not disturb. As requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite and crew quarters, and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you all right, and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Sweet. All right, let's watch. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay. Hmm. Oh, God. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Now, your memory's shot full of holes. I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of oh. backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the type in organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, Always a good when idea. you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process to bring you back up to speed between test runs. But someone could just skip that part, turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Oh, great. I 
can't let you listen to that. Not until I've had a chance to explain everything in person. For now, just... Damn it. I have to go. Just sit tight. Please. Not too happy with you right now, big bro. Or little bro. Whatever the hell you are. Alright, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Shit. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna stop here. Um, man, what a what a intro. The uh, the game is off to a good start. I think I really like where it's going, and there's a whole lot to process so far, and. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a game where you can really sit down and uh, kind of poke around at a lot of things and explore and, and look at stuff. And um, I don't know. It's very interesting to me. Uh, I like the concept so far. And, um, uh, yeah, pretty excited about playing it. So we're going to be working on this. We're going to be finishing Outlast 2, and we're going to be, you know, finishing up Grim Fandango. So I'm just going to kind of be, like, jumping, you know, between them and uploading, you know, each of them each week until we finish them um this one's probably gonna probably gonna run for a while just because of how long i have a feeling it's gonna be uh, anyways really uh thanks for watching guys um if you uh enjoyed it then make sure to leave a like and if you want to stick around for a while and uh hang out and see some future videos then make sure to subscribe uh we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff and, yep, just as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.